Hi, it's Hopkey, and welcome to this screencast looking at Pano 2 VR version 6 placeholders. Now, the reason why I'm doing this uh, this video is because in version 6 we have changed the placeholders. If I add a text box to the skin, uh, let's just get rid of its, uh, the text in there. We've got the button as we had in version 5, which is the uh, insert placeholder button. When I click that, I can then look at the different placeholders we can use within the text box. But what you'll notice is it now contains brackets. So where before in version 5 for a hotspot title was $HS, it's now $Open Bracket HS Close Bracket. Now what this does is makes it more efficient in Pano 2 VR, so there's a lot of under the hood coding that's gone on. But it also means that we can do things like this. If we have a look at variables, you can see that I've got a placeholder for a variable. Now if I look at the skim, you'll see that I've added a variable, I've called it URL, its type is text, and if I open it up, its initial value is a URL. So basically, what I can do is now use the placeholder to display that variable, which is URL. So let's go to variables, like that, open up the live preview, and you can see the garden gnome URL. Right, cool. Now what this means is, with variables, you can dynamically change these. So with this placeholder in a go to URL action, means I can dynamically change which website that button will go to. So here is a, my button. It's actually a text box. Um, now, just to bring you up to speed, I've got a two node uh, project. Node one has the tag gnome. Node two has the tag hopkey. All right, so that's, that's that. And my text box, has got a text box um, logic block that if the tag contains gnome the text box will read visit the garden gnome website and if the tag contains hopkey visit hopkey 360 which is actually my test website okay so that's that's easy enough to follow now what i'm going to do then is give this um, text box stroke button a mouse click go to url action and the url will be this placeholder so dollar brackets, um, asterisk, URL. And I'm just gonna set the target so blank so it opens up a new window. So if I close this and save and produce the project, what's gonna happen, because the variable is um, uh, the garden gnome website, and because this first node has got the tag gnome, we read the text and when we click it, it opens up the garden gnome website. What I want it to do now is when I change nodes, now, obviously, we've changed nodes and it's now got the tag Hopkey, so it says visit Hopkey 360. But when I click it, it still opens up the Garden Gnome website because what I need to do is give it a couple of actions to change the variable value. So the placeholder can obviously affect the go to URL action. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just go back to the skin and I'm going to give the um, button a couple of actions. So what I'm going to do is say, when the images are ready, um, set a variable value, and the variable value, I'm, I'm going to use the, the garden gnome one, so https, colon, so ggnome dot com. There we go, so that's the first website. I'm going to select it, copy it, and I'm going to paste, just to create another uh, action. But this time around, in the second action, I'm just going to change the URL to open up the hopkey360.com test site. Okay, now what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna use action filters. Now I've got a video covering this, so I'm not gonna explain what I'm doing, but basically what I'm uh, just gonna do is if the tag contains gnome, allow this to write the variable value uh, to the genome website and this filter will say if the tag contains hopkey, here we go, then set the variable value to the hopkey360 website. So we are now dynamically changing the variable value and the placeholder in this button will just read that variable value. So if I go to the second node now, that would have dynamically changed the URL to my hopkey uh, test site and when I click the button, it indeed opens it. If I close it, 
spin it back round, go back to the first node, which is back to the Garden Gnome website. And when I click that, that will indeed open the Garden Gnome website. There you go. That's the new placeholders. And thanks for watching.